Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or you haven't seen this series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. I have a whole playlist of all these videos if you would like to sit and binge watch. Blah, 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 blah. I've also added like another section in my description box with kind of like my most popular playlists. It's called like want to binge watch so look down there i link like my last pan that palette my current pan that palette my declutter playlist if you missed it i do have a big playlist of all of my declutters my most popular videos are my declutters so if you missed that i'll link it down below and also i should be coming out with a new declutter series soon i i just gotta like organize my life <laughs> so that should be coming out soon um i know definitely i need to do an eyeshadow palette one and a foundation. I, I need to clean out my foundation drawer. It's, it's a mess. So let's go ahead and jump straight in with this new Natasha Denona release. I'm not gonna lie. I saw this on Twitter for the first time and I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I thought someone was messing with us because no way in living hell is Natasha Denona coming out with this palette for $129. I was half inspired to create a new video and name it don't spend $129 on this. I own a couple Natasha Denona palettes. I'll take the picture down. They're right over here. I've got the Lila, the Sunset, and I have one of the big palettes too. After using those, would I recommend you pick up something that's neutral as hell from Natasha Denona? No. No, I would not. I this, this inspired me. I'm going to do a video of affordable neutral palettes. Like, if there's something that we already, like, have an abundance of in this community and don't need more of, it's neutrals. And I, I can personally think of at least five affordable neutral palettes that I would recommend above whatever this is. Okay? I did a video in the past about like most inspiring neutral palettes where I talk about what makes a neutral palette attractive to myself personally, but they're, I mean, they're not all 100% affordable. I know I think I talked about an ABH palette and stuff like that. So I can definitely do an affordable version of that palette because you do not need to spend a lot of money on a good neutral palette. Like this, I got like upset seeing this. You, this, ew. Does anyone else agree with me? Like, I feel like this is a bit nuts. Like, I feel like it's one thing to think of, say, I am Natasha Denona, <laughs> and I'm looking at my brand as a whole, and I'm trying to fill in gaps in the products that I offer. Even then, most of your palettes are mostly neutral. Like, I don't understand the need of this extra, like, all-neutral palette. Like, I don't know why I get so upset over this kind of stuff. It's just eyeshadow. It's just eyeshadow at the end of the day. But it's eyeshadow that's not necessarily needed. I mean, no eyeshadow is needed. Like, if we're gonna get into that, you don't need makeup. We want makeup. But who asked for this? <laughs> And if they did, can I have their number so I can bitch them out? Ooh, Juvia's Place is coming out with a Warrior 3 palette. So I did pick up the Warrior 1 and 2. I've used them a few times and I really like them. I never did a video. I think I was going to do a video. Honestly, like, I'm the worst when it comes to eyeshadow videos because, I don't know if you can tell, I tend to film before I go to work every day. So eyeshadow videos take me several days to film if I want to do several looks. So I'll film, like, one look on Monday, one look on Tuesday, the third look on Wednesday, and then try to do like the intro slash conclusion, and then I have to film the swatches separately. So eyeshadow videos take me a little bit longer. I am going to try to do a first impression this Friday because my dumb butt forgot that this weekend is St. Patrick's Day and I want to do a green eyeshadow video for that. And I thought about doing a live stream, but I know my webcam quality isn't that great, so if I were to do an eyeshadow look, it wouldn't come up that great. So I am going to try to film like a first impressions with the ColourPop Just My Luck palette. Let me grab it. I literally just got this palette yesterday in the mail and I've opened it once to like look at it, but I have not used it yet. Okay, 
packaging is A+. I haven't gotten any of the ColourPop palettes in this packaging yet because none of them have called to me. This is an amazing packaging. Like, I love that they have all the shade names on the back. I love that this is, like, hard plastic. You have a gigantic, look how big that mirror is. And it holds, okay, so it holds up on its own. I love this. That's perfect for travel. Like, if I'm setting a mirror up to do my makeup on the go, I need something that's going to hold itself up because otherwise, like, what, I can't, like, it's, it's difficult. So this, I mean, it's very promising. These are all of the shades. <laughs> oh, look. So I'm going to get a first impression of this up. I typically don't like to do just first impressions, but something tells me I'm going to do more than one video of this. So I'm going to try to get a first impression, look, little review, some swatches up for this on Friday. We'll see if that actually works, because I would have to film this either the, 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 the Wednesday or the, or Tuesday, Thursday. What are days? I'd have to film this either Thursday morning or Wednesday morning. So we, we got to see how that goes. Thursdays are like my craziest days at work. And then Fridays I tend to work from home. So we'll see. But I have this palette and I'm trying to do a different format for these videos because I don't, I just, like I wish I had all the time to do as much as I want to do for each one of these eyeshadow palettes, but I just, I don't have the time. I wish I did. I also have the Riviera palette that I want to do a video on, so I'm playing with different formats for these eyeshadow videos since I just have so many palettes. So if I ever miss a palette, if there's anything that I've mentioned that I've purchased or there's anything that you think I might have, because odds are I have it, I have a huge eyeshadow palette collection. <laughs> Um, so if I miss anything, let me know if you want to see that palette and how you would like to see it. I want to do more palette roulettes. I want to do more palette resurrections. I want to do more maybe first impressions if you guys are okay with seeing a first impression with maybe only one or two looks with it. So getting back to what we were actually talking about, the Warrior 3. I have the Warrior 1 and 2 and after seeing them in person and using them, like I think they're worth it. I really enjoy them. So I cannot wait to see what this Warrior 3 looks like. I will probably pick this up hopefully from Ulta. I don't know how quick it's going to go onto the Ulta website if it is, but preferably I would like to get this from Ulta if I could. I feel like I saw like three different ColourPop sneak peeks while just on Instagram like normally. And I can't find them. I thought I saw, okay, so I'll see if I can throw a picture up, but I'm pretty sure I saw that they're doing like round two of their Disney collab, and this time it's gonna be Disney villains. Sign me the F up. Like that palette looked interesting. I love Disney villains. Like, mm. Sidebar, my favorite Disney villain song is Be Prepared, Scar. That song, if you ever need to like get hyped for something, listen to that song. It's amazing. Anyway, back to that. That palette looked interesting and not sure about the rest of the collection. I'm now looking at a spring collection which has some new lipsticks and this palette that it looks mad. Like it's, I mean, it does look spring. It looks very like cherry blossomy and stuff, but I've got those colors. I don't, I don't need this. And I could have sworn they came out with a new collab. Like half the time, I can't tell if like they came out with a collab and it came and went really quickly or if like, all these collabs exist and they're just what if none of these collabs exist and they're just like i don't know i don't know it's, it's nuts how, how often they're coming out with products but you know what i haven't done like a color pop haul or reviewed products from them in a bit since the last palette i think i was into which was the good sport palette that was a great palette i really liked that one but if I do find something interesting, maybe like that Disney Villains palette, if I go to place an order, I might try out a bunch of other things. Like I still haven't tried out the mascara. I'm interested about their liner. So if I do that, I might do like a big ColourPop roundup review. So yeah, I think that'd be interesting. So keep your eyes out for that. I think I mentioned this collection once in a previous Weekly Wow. But this Smashbox collab with the Hood Witch, like looking at the whole collab together, it 100% screams just pretty packaging, right? Like they put so much work into just the packaging and the products just look meh. Yeah. So there's this new eyeshadow palette from Makeup Forever. It's $45. 
and it looks i mean okay honestly looking at this first picture it just looks so washed out right but that's how it's uh, I, I think that's a bad picture because looking at the next one like the colors do look a little bit more pigmented but they're still v it, it, very boring and neutral and i see that apparently they're trying to do like a Lorac Pro thing where they have one finish per line. So the top row is all matte, the second row is all metal, the third row is all chrome. Not sure what that means. But I mean, I guess this is great if you have trouble putting looks together and you really want the same color eyeshadow in like three different finishes so you can quickly do a look. But I think you can find better for cheaper like so uh becca is coming out with a um, a nipple highlighter okay um i mean some of my favorite highlighters are from becca so i can't really discount this until like i swatch it and see it for myself but it looks like this is only going to be available to becca travel retail locations i have no idea what those are or where they are so um I'm just gonna call it a nipple and move on. Nabla Cosmetics is dropping this like incredible shade range of a foundation. It's called the Close Up Futuristic F Foundation. Trend Mood has a spelling or a, an edit error here. They have Futuristic Foundation listed twice, so <laughs> forgive my reading error. So it's supposed to be an innovative, a weightless, ultra buildable texture that gives your skin a three-dimensional and naturally radiant matte effect. I've always been confused by like radiant matte, but I'm interested. Like I, I would have to look, I'm definitely a shade in that first row, but I would be interested in this. I've never tried Nabla Cosmetics. I believe that they are a more indie brand. So I believe they're only available at their website. But if you've ever tried Nabla Cosmetics, let me know down below and let me know if you're also interested in this foundation because it does look pretty interesting, but I don't see a price. It looks like it's still coming soon. So I don't know what pricing is like. I don't know what shipping is going to be like. We, we got to look into all of this. Natasha Denona is coming out with a new foundation. They're just calling Foundation X Plus. Like, could you not come out with a name? I think I was interested in their first foundation and I, I'm pretty sure I got a sample of it, but then never jumped in and actually purchased it. So I'm probably not gonna give this a shot. I mean, I'm, I'm fine as far as foundations go. I've got some I'm interested in, like the Nabla one, but if I'm being really honest, I don't need any more foundations. So I'm not gonna actually go out and purchase one it, unless I'm like really interested in it. And Natasha is still on thin ice after that neutral palette. Okay, so I think this is adorable and this brand might be going into an actual direction and might not just be a fad. Glam Light is coming out with the burger palette after their pizza palette and their pizza lashes. So I see a yellow and a green and what's maybe an orange in here so that could be interesting I just I really want to see this palette and see what they're gonna go with the brand because I also saw a picture of a comment saying you guys need to come out with drink palettes like a margarita palette or something and they said already in the works so yeah if they come out with like drink palettes and and they look interesting like I'll be on that that would be great <laughs> I would love that but I honestly think like they took something that was a fad and they're rolling with it and it could work. I don't, I still don't know what the quality of the shadows are, but something that looked like a fad is actually getting me interested. And I gotta commend them for that. Like they're not doing bad. Also Glam Light, the food palette thing we talked about earlier, also coming out with the taco palette, which I cannot wait to see that. Like I said, they're rolling with the theme. So Carity, a brand that I was interested in trying out a bit ago, is coming out with a new palette that, I will say, it looks different. It's like a 90s inspired palette, and I kind of like the colors here. I'm not interested in the lipsticks or whatever the rest of those things are, but that palette itself looks kind of cute. Now, something to say about Carity, though, is they're very pushy. Uh, in that I originally like worked on their website and what I do when I online shop is I always like go to the website Throw some things in my cart take a look at it and then I'll close the window And if I still really want those products after a couple of days I'll go back to the website look at my cart But for the most part after I do that I can remove one or two things from the cart and like really make a better informed decision I don't like to like 
just impulse buy unless it's that green palette from ColourPop because I, I bought that during my lunch break at work on my phone but when it comes to something like Carity or something new that I want to try out I do that I got almost an email a day from Carity about the items in my cart and that pushed me to not buy because I don't like that kind of pushy marketing like if I want to buy the products I'm gonna buy the products but what originally I might have been interested in I was totally put off by because I was I mean they were emailing me coupon codes and which could be great if you want to get a coupon code from Carity throw some shit in your cart and wait a few days but it got annoying to the point where I didn't want to buy from them so while I think this palette is cute, I don't know if I'm willing to buy it from Carity because I don't like those pushy marketing tactics. I see Dose of Colors is coming out with a Disney collab and I honestly scrolled right by this when I first saw this because the palettes look so boring. I think it's like a blush and some eyeshadows and some lipsticks and like I said, I like glazed over and like looked right by it because it's nothing different and everyone already has a Disney collab like at least try to make it interesting so for our last product let's scoot away from makeup and talk about bath bombs apparently Lush is about to drop 54 new bath bombs to celebrate the 30 years of having bath bombs but that's a lot of bath bombs <laughs> um I rarely go to Lush that much anymore. Um, I do like the occasional bath bomb here and there, but I would say overall, I definitely haven't been purchasing them as much as I used to, but with 54 coming out, where are they going to put them? But I would say I would take a look. These pictures, I don't know what store these are in or if this is just like the display case for all the new bath bombs, but they look very cute. So I think I might have to pop into a store and see if they have these all in store what new ones are coming out with. All right, and we're gonna leave it right there for our weekly wish list or a washout. Let me know down below what you thought of all of these products. And if you wanna see my first impression on that new ColourPop green palette for Friday, because I I don't know holidays and I forget which is which. Uh, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.